What's up guys? So can you actually sharpen on the bottom of a coffee cup? Well, we're gonna find out. So I get this comment a lot, and it usually goes something like this. Don't waste your money on stones. Just use the bottom of a cup or a plate. Stones are for losers. Now there's videos all over YouTube about how to sharpen on a cup or a dinner plate. And I think a lot of people have tried to sharpen on a cup or a dinner plate. But I also think a lot of those people have failed to sharpen their knife on a cup or a dinner plate. Otherwise, sharpening stone sales would have completely stopped by now. Or maybe there's something about sharpening on the bottom of a cup or a plate that just isn't quite right. But that's not going to stop us from at least trying it. That's not going to work. Perfect. Well, it's definitely removing metal. Just from my initial impression, I would say that this is in the neighborhood of like 220 grit or 320. I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely very coarse. Look at the sharpening surface we have here. This is probably only maybe two and a half inches of sharpening surface that we have from here to here. What is this, like 3 sixteenths of an inch wide? Our entire sharpening surface is 3 sixteenths of an inch wide by two and a half long. And it's curved. It's really hard to maintain an angle on this thing, I'll tell you that much. So I'm just looking to see if I formed a burr. Looks like I've actually formed a burr up on this part, or on this upper half of the knife blade. And it looks like I have to go back and work on the, uh, the bottom half a little bit more. So it actually looks like we formed a burr here and I think we can go ahead and take it to the strop now. So what sharpening video will be complete without a strop? Well, to keep the same theme of this video, I think we're just gonna use cardboard to strop on. Here it is. Cardboard, let's get this out of the way. As far as strapping on cardboard goes, I really don't have any advice for it because I really don't know if this is going to work. So I can still actually kind of see a burr that's on here. So we haven't really removed anything yet. I don't know how long this is going to take. Might not even work at all. Alright guys, I'm not going to lie, I've been at this for like the last uh, 30 minutes trying to strop on this cardboard here and it's not working out too well. I don't think it's abrasive enough to really remove the burr. I can still see a burr in places along the edge of this knife. So I think what I'm going to do is have this compound that I have left over from a strop I made in another video and I think I'm going to try the yellow. And I'm just going to rub it into the cardboard and see what happens. Check this out, I've literally been stropping for uh, less than a minute and look at all this black. This is actually metal that's been removed off the edge of this blade. We can actually shave, let's get it in camera here, actually shave hair with it pretty easily. So yeah, that's uh, did the job. Let's do the old paper test. Yeah, that's much better. So, stropping on cardboard, in my opinion, doesn't work. At least this cardboard. 
but the second I add some type of compound to the cardboard, I get all this black or metal shavings that have come off and the knife gets basically razor sharp. Now this definitely isn't the sharpest knife in the world, but if you were to hand this to me, I would definitely say this is sharp and doesn't need sharpening. We can shave fairly easily with it. It cuts paper pretty much no problem. That pretty much sums it up. So yeah guys, sharpening on a cup actually kind of works. Dropping on cardboard, I wouldn't say dropping in cardboard works. If you add a compound, then strapping on cardboard does work. It removes metal and within seconds you'll get a sharp knife. So if you're just starting out and you want to learn how to sharpen, definitely don't try and learn on a cup. I think it'll set you back in the long run. Get yourself some decent stones and practice on them. So sharpening on a cup is possible if you add compound to your cardboard. Let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching.